now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Looking at an air temperature coming in at 88 degrees with a dew point of 74. Southeast wind now at about 9. We'll probably get up to about 91 degrees today, 90, 91, just as we have over the last several days. Plenty of sunshine around today, and I don't think we're going to see much in the way of rainfall once again. Across the region, temperatures already closing in on that 90 degree mark in Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaca, Northport, Punta Gorda. Even Sarasota and Brainton coming in in the upper 80s now at 88 degrees. 86 in Venice, 87 in Parrish, 85 at Boca Grande. So across the region, Titan radar not picking up a lot of rain showers currently along the west coast. We had a few earlier on on the east coast, and we have some persistent heavier moisture down to the south, which is leading to a few scattered showers and thunderstorms there. I think as we head into the afternoon, we'll probably see a thunderstorm or two, maybe, in inland areas. That's not out of the question. 30% chance of that. Not quite what we would normally see at this time of year. We're still in the rainy season, but, um, you know, there'll be a few around, just as we've seen over the last several days. Near the coast, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot. We're just not, I don't think. We'll develop a sea breeze pushing everything inland, plus most of the moisture is located further down to the south. Now, if you want to find rain, you've got to go back to the west. There's a frontal boundary kind of meandering through parts of, uh, well, it kind of stretches down through Michigan, through the Ohio Valley, back into the open plains, and then down into the deep south into Texas, where there's some fairly heavy rainfall through Texas, up through Austin, into uh, Oklahoma City, areas like that. If you're traveling to that part of the country, you could have some airport delays, but otherwise it looks pretty good. So this is the water vapor image. I've been showing this for a couple of days now because it has been the driving mechanism for a lot of the weather that we have been seeing here on the Sun Coast. The tan colorizations are the location of dry air in the atmosphere. A snapshot from space, colorized to show where the dry air is and where it is not. And in this image, I think you can kind of make out that the dry air is being eroded away from south to north as time goes on. And that will continue to be the case as we progress through time. Down to the south of us, there's a fair amount of moisture, and that's why we're seeing those radar echoes ongoing. And we'll see that kind of start to lift a little bit further to the north, giving us a little more moisture. That is ingredient number one. Now, ingredient number two comes in the form of this cold front. The cold front is sinking southward, and it will probably pull up breaks and eventually turn up stationary by about the weekend right over north central Florida, maybe even south of us. Now, don't get excited. It's not bringing us any cooler weather. It's not going to be that potent a cold front, but what it will do is provide a little extra lift in the atmosphere. So you have more moisture. You got that little extra bit of lift. Now, the third ingredient has not developed yet, but some computer models do suggest that in this area of the Atlantic, a little area of low pressure will start to develop, and it'll move right across the center part of the state of Florida. Should that happen, then that will truly enhance our rainfall chances and bring us the potential for some heavier rain as we head into the weekend. Hasn't happened yet. We'll wait to see if it does. But in any event, our rain chances are going to go up because of the moisture in the front. So mostly inland showers today. A warm afternoon. Again, temperatures near 90. Mostly sunny skies and not much of a rain chance this afternoon. Forecast for boating looks good. We'll have that wind coming in out of the west at about 10 knots this afternoon. Light chop, two foot seas, nice stuff out there. Not much in the way of rain showers. And then as we head into the weekend, we'll slowly be increasing the rain chances till we get to Saturday and Sunday. And then at least a 50% chance of rain, I think. And if that low develops and moves across the uh, state, as some models suggest, the rainfall chance might be higher and the rain might be kind of heavy at times. Back to you, Scott.